Hey guys, it's Tiff back again with another You, Me, Same 3. And you see we have some interesting items here. Some chicken wire, um, a vintage photo, and um, I don't know what that fiber like paper was, but it has like a little gold touch. So I'm just going to play around a little bit to try to decide uh, what I'm going to do. And immediately I know I want to cut that off. So if this is your first time joining my channel, watching the You, Me, Same 3, collaboration this is a collaboration with my friend Mickle name Michelle um, you can check the link below and you can see what her channel is and you'll go there next so you can see what she did with these three items so we never know what each other does until we actually see the video so it's always interesting to see if there's any similarities um, and I'm just using a little cheap nail buffer here that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply just to um, try to rough up this image. It was a very darling image. And these items came from Thea. Thea, thank you so much for uh, sending these to us. So end of 2019, we put out a call for anyone who wanted to send us the three items that we would use um, for this. And several of you, I think this is the fifth month that we've actually had um, someone uh, send us the items. And I think we have one more, unless some somebody sends us some more. But um, it has been really fun using the items. I am using the journal that you've seen before if you are a regular here. Um, this uh, journal is from my friend Shelly. I will link her. She is um, on Instagram. So feel free to go check her out. From time to time she does have uh, some journals for sale. And I'm now going to kind of tear this paper fiber stuff apart and I really love how um the fibers you can kind of see like it's like torn but it's like fibrous I don't know it's really interesting I thought it added a nice layer of texture and in any Tiffany fashion I never know what in the world is going to come of this because um generally I don't have a clue I just <laughs> go into my studio and pray for the best. And somehow or another, it always seems to turn out. And thank you for watching. <laughs> so I had a little tea bag giblet that was on my um, table. And if you are new, giblets is Tiffany's code word for any scraps that I have. Um, and that uh, just happens to be my MO. So I'm going to tell y'all, spoiler alert, I tear this chicken wire to hell and back, okay? So my initial thought was I wanted to simply cut out one of the little octagon shapes, okay? So I was going to... Um, that is an octagon yeah I think so and so I was gonna cut out um, one of the octagons here and actually use it to frame one of the children's faces um, that is in the photo I thought that would be an interesting way to kind of bring a little um, something something to uh, one of the individuals and let them stand out well let's see what happened here was every time I would cut and think I had gotten close I'm like okay well maybe I got a little too close or whatever the thing would just tear apart so I'm like what is up so I end up taking these uh, pliers here and just cutting the crap out of this wire so gonna go ahead and tell you that's how it went and to be quite honest about right now I get um, a little aggravated because my initial thought didn't work out so anytime that happens guys your studio your art should not stress you out okay and it was stressing me a little bit not gonna lie so I decided to say to heck with it and I decided to just step away and come back with a fresh perspective the next day. So I'm going to step away here and come back and kind of approach it with fresh eyes and today is a new day. So I immediately knew might as well um, stop fiddle farting around with this wire and let's make it happen. So I am going to paint the wire with a little white gesso 
and um, I'm using my deco arch just so I really like the tooth to it um, this one's probably sat open knowing me and so it's a little bit thicker and I'm just going all willy-nilly right here with the um, brush and white gesso just getting a little bit of color it would I don't really think overall it made a huge difference whether it was painted or not painted when it comes to the chicken wire but you know that's neither here nor there I don't really think for the final product I think about right now what is bringing me joy and what is kind of feeding my soul so that's how I art if you like to have a plan this channel's probably not for you because I just don't do plans I just kind of just figure it out as I go along so I'm going in here with this metallic um, paints from Deco Arts, a little gold because we had the gold from the fibrous paper that we used and so I thought this could be cool and I'm going to go ahead and just stop fooling around and just glue that bad boy down. So if I were real professional, I probably would have um, dried the chicken wire but I did not because I just was ready. At this point, I was ready to get it done. I'm just going to tell you like it is. So I'm here taking my masking tape, also known as my spirit animal, and just kind of going around the page to add some dimension. Um, I am using this dark um, greenish blue color um, thread and I'm going to do a little bit of stitching and actually stitch this um, chicken wire onto the page. Now it is going to get gesso all over the picture and that's neither here nor there. I think it kind of adds a little bit of grunge um, to the overall um page itself what I will say is I'm not going to make you sit through this um poor description of some embroidery floss and a needle going through back and forth and back and forth but I'm just kind of tacking down the chicken wire um so that it stays somewhat adhered to the page because it being a metal I could have probably used like the E6000 or whatever but I didn't have any so I just stuck it all together and then there's some loose like ends there so I want to make sure that I don't need a tetanus shot or kill myself because I'm super accident prone with um, this metal here. And I will say, Thea, this was the first time I had played with chicken wire. Now, you could have totally, I could have totally went with the approach of using the chicken wire as a stencil, which, believe you me, I thought about it, but I thought that maybe that was kind of, um, I'm not going to say the easy way out, but maybe not as challenging and the whole purpose to the you may same three is to kind of challenge ourselves as artists to reach outside of the norm that we normally would use and use something new so now i have all three items into play praise jesus awesome i'm feeling good about it and now i did want because i'm such a texture whore that's probably not acceptable for youtube but um i just love texture and so my husband said in the background no i can't say that but it's already said and i'm not going to redo it so um i am going to just tape little giblets of fabric around just to add a little something something to it and then i got these hundred gathered thoughts this is by sugar boo sugar boo and company and it has these cool little quotes at the bottom and uh i'm gonna glue it and then i took and just cut part of a quote out and I'm going to stick it down at the bottom there. And I felt like to balance it out, I needed a little bit of texture on the opposite side. So I'm going to add that. Thank you so much, so much for joining me today. I hope that this has inspired you to play. The words say treasure this day. So I hope that you do treasure your Monday. Uh, this isn't Monday. This is Saturday that this is going to be aired. So I hope you treasure your Saturday. Make it the best. Make time for you. Dig into your studio uh, and slap some things down, guys. And until next time, to live.